In this video, I'm gonna share with you an adjustment that is going to stop 99.9% .9 of the way that bunch players are playing Madden right now. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. If you wanna get my full ebook on this defense, um, this is just a small little excerpt. We actually have a full uh, game plan devoted to the nickel normal if you wanna check that out. Uh, in, ex in an extreme detail that'll be in our patreon membership you can join the patreon membership and not only get access to the nickel normal but you'll also get access to all 20 of my man 22 offensive and defensive ebooks so i'll put the link to that in the description if you want to check it out now guys this is an adjustment out of the cover six that i think is absolutely incredible and it's something that you can do to defend the majority of what a bunch any bunch player is going to want to do against your defense so the play we're going to be coming out in is cover six out of nickel normal i'm in the san francisco playbook you can also get this coverage out of the four six or multiple defense in case you're running that but we're going to talk first and foremost about the play verticals now a lot of people like to run the setup like this with the wheel route to the running back and what's so difficult about this is they can aggressive catch this wheel route pretty much against any coverage another popular uh concept from the gun bunch is the mesh spot where we actually do little pull routes like this and then we can kind of throw the wheel route in these little pockets and so we're going to show you in this video a way that can help you uh, defend that. And it's out of the play cover six. So uh, what we're going to do is we are simply going to pinch our defense. We're going to crash our D-line out. That's kind of our base front, if you will, and how we're going to do this. And then we're going to do a really critical thing. This guy right here, Amos, is going to be our user. So you can go ahead and blitz him down if you want to. So I'm just going to go ahead and blitz him straight down just like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to shade, uh, or I'm sorry, we're going to man up the solo side corner onto the running back just like this. And then we're going to shade our coverage down or shade underneath. And then the last step, really, last couple things here, we're going to, you don't have to deep half this guy, but I like to. So just simply deep half this um, bunch side safety. I like to purple the bunch side slot corner. And then you can drop the bunch side defensive end into a zone. If you don't want to do that, then I would recommend dropping the solo side defensive end into a curl flat. So you see, this is basically the coverage that we create. And what you're going to notice is if I try to throw the play verticals, you might think that Mike Evans would be wide open. But with cover six, because there's a deep half over there, he's going to go to that every single time. And that will not be an option, even though my guy is completely abandoning that route. Now, the other thing that I want to point out about this is that this adjustment is really, really good and really helpful for the play uh, mesh spot. So I'm going to show you that real quick. And again, we're just going to put these adjustments on the field. Now, again, you can, you don't have to, you, you can drop another guy, but it really just send the three is, is fine. Uh, but anyways, let's go look at verticals now. So if you watch this tight end wheel, you're going to notice that the tight end wheel route can get open um, if they run that running back on a hitch like that. Uh, but I'll show you something real quick. So again, we're going to man the running back up, shade down, and then I like to uh, repurple the slot corner and put a deep half on the right. And then if you have time, put a curl flat on the left. You don't have to put the curl flat on the left, but it is helpful just for the totality of the coverage. So when they go with these double wheel routes, what you'll notice is that this three reg hook defender will kind of run out at the tight end and will play that fairly decently. Now, another thing that you can do if you want to really kind of beef up your coverage on the wheel route in particularly is instead of dropping the left of screen DN into a purple zone, what you can do is simply take this linebacker on the right side of the screen and you could put him in man coverage on the tight end. He's going to be inside leverage against the tight end. So you see it looks kind of like this. Um, and then again, if you're doing this number on them, what you can also do is drop your vert hook from the DN on the right and then drop the left side guy into a three rec. If you, or you could also drop the three rec from the DN on the tight end side and drop the purple over here. Okay, that's up to you. Those are simple little little things. But what that's, this is gonna help is it's gonna help the tight end wheel. So you'll see right here that there's really, I mean, you, you wanna throw it into the 
four people go be my guests you know this year obviously wheels are crazy but this is probably my favorite play um to call if someone is running a lot of wheel routes on me this is pretty much the play i'm going to go to so again uh just going to go through the adjustments again we're going to man up the solo corner onto the running back we're then going to man up the uh middle linebacker onto the tight end and then we're going to put a deep half on that side and i like to go ahead and if you want to shade down you can you don't have to if you're going to do the cross manning you don't have to shade down if you're doing cross manning okay um so you'll see right here they'll play fine because of where they're at on the field and then again this is mesh spot and i'll show you that this running back route take a look at how that corner plays it it's really a, it plays it significantly better i'm not honestly sure why um it's just something that i've started to notice a little bit um, that this this when you man this guy up onto the running back it does a really good job now another thing that I wanted to quickly point out is if you do this they're gonna give you a concept that essentially looks like this it's out of the play I think it's out of um, I don't have the play with me um, we'll just do it out of this this is fine um, but it's basically bunch trail so you're gonna get something that looks essentially like this right this cover six is really good for this type of concept so our quarter flat, or our, I'm sorry, our outside quarter on the right is going to defend the corner route. Any corner route, it'll take it away. And then, like I said, you don't have to man this guy on the tight end. If you're going to be free to use the tight end, you can. You can just say, I'm just going to go use the tight end wheel. That's fine. Um, you could trust your vert hook on the right to do that if you want to. That's fine as well. So it's kind of honestly up to you. But what I like to do is I like to man the tight end up just because it kind of gives me that extra peace of mind knowing that the two best players in bunch um, in my opinion are the tight end and the running back if you can get those guys kind of contained the other three receivers are a little bit easier to handle okay so let's talk about this post here you're gonna see that this does a really good job on this post as you can see right there it's really not open there's really no point at which that post will be open and you can see how the deep half defender does a really 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 good job at defending that route now i wanted to give you a quick little tip in case um just in case your opponent goes ahead and motions this running back and creates a bunch strong if they do that leave this deep half he will still do a really good job and honestly i would still suggest to leave this coverage on this guy if you wanted to you could put this guy in a cloud um, but you could also leave him in coverage on the running back but you already have this deep half here right so all i'm gonna do is we're just gonna keep the same adjustments um the only difference is we're gonna play cover two now so as you can see we've got a cover two but we've got a nice match coverage from the left side so there's no uh, opportunity for a skinny post to beat us necessarily and then we can easily just kind of this guy would have been in a purple zone you could just put him in a in a in a vert hook and now you're just playing cover two and you'll see that this is still really really good against this coverage obviously the deep corner might be there but other than that there's really nothing else other than that corner route so you can kind of key in on that if you want to man that up um, you certainly can do that as well but this is a way that i like to run cover six the biggest key here is if you take if you take this corner and man him up he does such a good job at defending that and it really does kind of trap him a little bit again it's not perfect nothing in madden 22 is perfect but that little thing right there is going to win you more games now you can do this same principle let's say i wanted to send a, some pressure so um i could and let's just say i had a cover two shell so um i could the cool part about cover six is because this zone right here is so good you can adjust out of this so i could create my own little cover two on the right side and then again do the same basic thing where i'm going to take that away now one little thing that i do want to emphasize the out route to the running back is really not um i mean it looks more it, it gets more open than it does in in mutt it will get open in, in practice mode fairly regularly but i will say like you know again here let me show you one more time here you see the out route he kind of stays on it and it kind of limits the the damage that they can do so if you really want to stop the out route um then this is where this purple comes in so you got something like that coverage right there and then they're going to run this little quick out to the back and now you've got kind of bracketed coverage on it and you see how it's going to again keep it under wraps so that's a way that you can deal with that but the other thing i was going to say real quick is what if we were what if we were in cover two just just kind of for example and we wanted to send some pressure what we could do um with this defense to get some really glitchy pressure 
is we can still man that running back up, and now we can man up Mike Evans just like this. Or out of the cover six, we could leave the D-pack because we know that's a really good zone um, to defend this, right? So now if they put the running back on a wheel, and let's say they do something like, you know, something like this, this is pretty dark on uh, pretty pretty good defense for this. And you see, we typically get pretty quick pressure. I forgot to crash my line out there, but you know, you see the concept. And so this is something that you can certainly apply um, out of all kinds of different coverages. It's just a simple adjustment. Manning this guy up on the running back really does help a lot with wheels. Um, it helps a lot with like little table routes. It will occasionally, it will occasionally bag this little running back out. You see how fast the pressure comes in too, by the way. So this little defense right here is something that you can add, but it's something that I started doing primarily out of cover six because I know that this deep half is going to play really, really well. Um, so I can kind of build around that, right? So you can see here, just something simple like this. And then if I wanted to, you know, I could do some cross manning like so and play a defense that looks kind of like this. And, you know, this is a really good coverage for verticals because look where the middle linebacker is. He's inside leverage on the tight end. So you're coming from inside leverage position and you're able to defend a lot of what the most popular routes are from the bunch. So add this to your defense. You want to learn more about this defense. I think the nickel normal is the best defense in Madden because of the coverage that you can create. The pressure is really good too, but the biggest thing is the coverage. Um, if you don't have coverage and the nickel normal gives you every coverage option that you could imagine. And that's why I like it so much this year. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my full nickel normal defensive ebook, there's a link in the description below where you can join our Patreon. That's going to get you access to all 20. Uh, I think we have 22 offensive and defensive ebooks in there. In addition to that, we also have several updates in the Patreon membership. So I'd really encourage you to check it out. Again, there's a link in the description down below. Thanks for watching the video. And uh, there's some other videos you can check out on the, on the screen if you thought if you found this video uh, helpful.